After speaking to my crew, I get the feeling that they aren't mulling over the dilemma that I am. No one is talking about the end of the world and how to defeat Aethys, yet every one of us knows that that is why we are here in the Deadfire. I guess it's much better this way than having everyone terrified. Well, I'm not terrified. I've already died once, but I have the feeling that what Aethys is up to is not just the death of everything alive, but literally the end of all kith, all souls, the in-between, the wheel, all the gods, and the whole world of Aeora. A complete wiping of the slate so there's nothing left. How it would be possible to do this I do not know, but I do know that I don't want that to happen and I have the feeling that if he's been up to this for months now, there must be a way to do what he's trying to do. It seems that the gods are more upset than my crew and friends are, but I suppose that comes with their level of awareness. They sent me to find out what Aethys is up to, knowing the stakes. Perhaps then, that my ability to bring down Aethys might come from the gods themselves? Perhaps an ability to prevent our souls from being stolen from us? Protection like that would go a long way to help. Then all that would be left would be for us to defeat a giant Audra statue. One that could step and crush on half my ship with its foot. Hmm. One step at a time, I suppose. <laughs> that was unintentional. Somebody is bothering to Aha, some Juana, working for the other side. Could that be for Queen Neketaka, perhaps? I don't know who it is exactly. Here's the Dawnstar Shorty. Anyways, person just disappeared into the crowd. The Valian Trading Company owns just about everything you see. These Principi grow too bold. Where are the pirate hunters? Yeah, I agree. Hello again. Shouty! Blessed child, you return to the flock. What news do you bring us from the High Priestess? Don't get comfy, because I ain't here to stay. I'm finally doing Gon's will, thanks to the Watcher. Takehu rocks back on his heels, nodding to himself. Maya thumbs her chin, nodding. So I now see. Frowning, the Priestess takes her time, lighting one golden candle and then another. Perhaps she thought I would set Shoti straight? I don't know. I know she stands apart from her fellow Dawnstars. Do you seek a blessing from the light? No. Suit yourself. But know that I act only because I care for your soul and salvation. Okay. Go and be well. Walk within the light, and you shall not falter. With a flick of her finger, she splatters me with golden wax. Yes, uh, thank you. Well, I don't know where that person disappeared to, but we can look through this Kraken's eye. Guard. Didn't say anything. Maybe Thorel could help. I don't know. Didn't think you'd come back here. Don't tell me you wrecked your ship again. <laughs> what can you tell me about Port Magic? Guess you haven't exactly seen the prettier side of the place since you landed, right? It's the only town on the island, if you don't count Sadahuzi, little Juana village out west. It really is a decent place most days. Good trade, and plenty of money rolling in from Claudio's investors. Damn sight quieter than back home, but I don't have to tell you about the Deerwood. No. Things have got a bit quieter since you turned up last. Quiet's good, far as I'm concerned. Lots of repeat business. <laughs> Why call it the Kraken's Eye? What else? It was the glory of my fighting years. The beast pulled nearly seven full crews into its belly before it was brought down. Oh. I was at the helm that day, and for that, my captain gifted me one of the beast's eyes. Thoral's eyes glitter with pride as he points to the wall, just right at the counter. My proudest moment and my dearest treasure. I would not part with it for all the world. All right, then. Yeah. 
I was looking at that. That's a real Kraken's eye. I don't know how he preserved it. Have you ever seen anyone cast like that? Sure. A weather mage is a useful person to have on a crew. But to tame a storm? That Huana woman frightens me. Well, I don't see the person that I saw up there. I mean, there's some... Amawa here. So many mouths to feed. How do the Valians do it? A lot of people drinking, a lot of people burping. I just have a feeling the person we're searching for is not in here. Well, that's not him. It was a male. So, how do you like it? Amor. I feel amazing. Good, right? Worth a pretty penny. Every piece of silver. <laughs> Welcome back. You are in need of something. I can feel it. You Let me are help. definitely not the Amoa we're looking for. Are you looking for something in particular? Uh, farewell. Wasn't this room the room we were to clear out and then we can stay here for free that night? Well, we do have to stay a night before moving on. But, um, I think the person is outside. Dark. Huh. Red Serens, Adherence, the Dear Wooden. What next? Oh, no. Giant, right out of the living the end of the world. Foreigners Don't are joke. Here. Who knows what that thing was? Some Juana over here. I'm on the next ship out of oh, here. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Unless you're here to kick me off the docks this time. There's Juana here. Many in the village go still to the ruins. For what? Valiant coin. I'm a lost sailor. The storms here are nothing compared to back home. Well, I did see this person, and I don't think that they've left. They probably are in the area still searching. Uh, Maya wants to talk to me. You have my undivided attention, as always. Maya strikes a sharp salute, smiling all the while. Uh, okay, but what did you want to talk about? Sure. Hello? What of the... What of our people at the arena? I don't know what that would be. I wonder if the Dukes regret their investment here. A Paru worker. Amira, uh, protect you. What about this one? That kind of looks like the person. Wait. Hey. say, you need something? An unassuming Amua turns to me with a smile. Sniffing, Maya passes me a subtle nod. That goes for you or your fetching friend. He smiles at Maya, winking. Study him carefully. He possesses the warm tones of an island Amawa, careful, calm eyes, and a minute scar on his upper, upper lip. My close scrutiny unnerves him, and he takes a cautious step back. That's close enough. He scratches his ear, glancing to left and right. I almost missed it but I spot a smudge of ink on his right thumb and index finger. As he brings down his hand, he unconsciously pats a bulge in his pocket. Nodding to me, Maya makes it clear that she notices it as well. Ink and a pocket full of notes. You the one going after Tua? How did you know about? He blinks at me and clears his throat. You must have me mistaken for someone else. This is not a name which I know. Maya, take aim at his knees. Shoot to wound. 
With pleasure. <laughs> she cocks back the hammer of her gun and aims down, closing one eye. Shoti lifts her chin in interest. He takes a shaky step back, regarding Maya with wide-eyed bewilderment. I was never here. Twaha is not a name I have heard before. He turns on his heel and walks briskly away, snapping his head around to make sure he isn't followed. Okay, but that's not the end of it. How do, friend? Well, unless we just scared him away. Captain, you have my undivided attention, as always. Okay, well, I think he got the hint. Right. Stop bugging her. Get, make her take the missive now. Is he dead? Or must I handle everything myself? Tuaha crosses her arms and waits. How did you, you and Maya know each other? There's no easy answer to that. I was her commanding officer on a number of voyages. Later, we were absorbed into the trading company and found ourselves on more even terms. I taught her how to distill mare's milk. She taught me how to read a Valian sundial. It's been a most useful acquaintanceship. You could just say we're friends. Good friends. Maya nurses her brow and sighs. Shoti nibbles on her lips to hide a spreading smile. You don't have to worry about your tail any longer. Is this so? Tuaha blinks, saving any hope for when she hears it from Maya. We took care of it, just like I said we would. Winking, Maya holds out Asura's missives. Tuaha snatches the papers away with a blur. Thoughtful, Shoti rubs a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. Pelagina nods, the corner of her mouth turning to a faint grin. Glancing over the pages, Tuaha licks her thumb to turn each sheet. She nods, muttering under her breath. Everything seems to be in order. I'll see to it that these are addressed in good time. The edge of her mouth creeps up into a smile. What did Atsura send you? I'm supposed to pass these down the line and into the next set of hands. More of what you've done here. Okay. That's discretion for you. She tips her shoulder with a lopsided shrug. That doesn't exactly answer my question. Doesn't it? That's all the answer I have. Tuaha tips her head, studying me with genuine curiosity. We should be going. It's been an absolute delight. Maya clasps her hand, but Tuaha winces at the contact. That's enough of that, soldier. Atsura will know your performance was adequate. She pulls back, wiping down her palm. And you watch her. Rawatai thanks you for your service. <laughs> Maya, we're discussing what happens here later. Yeah, yeah, I thought we would. Shrugging, Maya delivers a hard and meaningful salute to Tuaha, even as the other Rawatayan turns, acting in every way a stranger. Odd. Very odd. Hey, Adirian's here now. The town has gone to the dogs. I don't understand. It's a port of call. So you're going to have people coming and going from all over the world. I sold a lot of the uh, armor and weapons that we have been gathering the last, uh, last week. Okay, so we've got to stay the night. Still kicking, eh? Like a room, please. Sure thing. Skippers stay. Cheap. And it'll work. Okay then. I feel much better. And uh I can tell that something's on your mind, and I owe you an explanation. Maya nods, tipping up her chin and stealing herself. Okay. Twaha is eccentric, I know. Even in the Navy, I never knew what to make of her. You might be asking yourself why one of the tribals would be stalking her, and if that has anything to do with our little mission. Hmm. Mission. Interesting choice of words. Nodding, Maya sighs. Atsura is doing important work in the Dead Fire. He's bringing peace, order, uh, bounty. Not everyone sees it that way, so he has to keep his intentions quiet. Okay. I know the secrecy doesn't look good, but I can promise you that this is for a better dead fire. Shoti flicks her sickle back and forth, agitated. Her stalker wasn't just some creep or thief, was he? Probably not. 
Leave it to the Juana to distrust a lone Rawatayan who knows her business. Decay who raises his finger to speak up, but slowly lows lowers it. Doesn't surprise me that they'd want to keep an eye on outsider business. Or get in the way of it. Are you both spies? If I pass information from one place to the next, does that make me a spy? Maybe. I suppose it depends on what side of the fence you're on. Is there anything else you're not telling me? Yes, of course there is, and plenty else besides. You think Atsura tells me everything? <laughs> Irked, Shuti runs her tongue over her teeth. Whatever he has planned for the dead fire, I'm only a small part of it. But I still need to protect my part. Pelagina tips her head up and smiles. Okay, that's all for now. You have every reason to be suspicious. Just trust me that this is all for the best. I wouldn't lie about that. Okay. I've got some answers. Let's be off. Well, with our injuries healed, we can now get into more fights, which is a second reason for coming here. But we should go back to Nakitaka. There's a lot of things to do there. Red Serens, Adherens, the Dear Wooden. What next? I am got it. Giant, right? I would not guess that these were once Juana lands. Don't joke. Who knows what that thing was? Okay, so. Back in the Defiant. I think when we go to the old city underneath Nekataka, we will bring Aloth with us over to Kehu. Just for Aloth's very, very powerful magic spells. Now, I'm not sure exactly all the things we could be doing out here. We're supposed to find this island Tikiwara as well. But... Huh. We didn't actually go and look for Rimaro. That's who uh, Seraphin was looking for. But that's at Fort Deadlight. Forgot about that. We have to break into the Archmage's Vault in Nekitaka. Eulogy for the dead. We have to go into a place full of undead and get s something. Um, what is it? Something as eulogy of you, sir. Yeah, carved into stone tablets and now rests in the hanging sepulchers. A complex of catacombs carved under the sacred stair. We have to go there as well. The painted masks. So watch for signs of the painted masks. Well, that's for a lot. Hmm. Okay, for our crew, Seraphim wants the information on Romaro, which we have to go to back to Fort Deadlight. We also have that uh, Captain of Dallas wants to go back, wants to meet me, and says it's not a trap, which I think it will be. So anyways, there's, uh, going through everything, I realized what it was that we missed. Uh, yeah, uh, Adair is interested in, with a woman he used to know, supposedly settled in Deadfire with the children of the Dawn Stars, and that person looked for Alafa and Hasongo, so I should have had Adair with me when we were there. And there's two things. Um, we have to return there. Bounty, Bikara. This northeastern coast of Hasango. And then there was another one. See, uh, Dallas at Fort Deadlight. Um, where is it? There's some. Here. Kill Desella and take her ship's triumph. Um, she's often found in the water south of Nekitaka. Decella. So, south of the waters of Nekitaka and north... Was it northeast or northwest of Hasongo? Northeast off the coast of Hasongo. Can we get through these islands? There's an island here. Maybe we should go investigate. Looks like there was a little camp set up. Found some food there. Well, I don't know what's ahead. But let's go look here. This is south of Nakataka, but I don't know if this is where we'll find the person that we're looking for. Oh, it looks like Zorp and some kind of Drake. Yeah, this might be a fight. I smell conflict in the air. 
Okay, this is a fight. I don't know how tough this creature is, but let's take, take him down. down. I've got the uh, the priest. If you have got the drake. Oh, Stop that. Is it down already? Let's go. Good. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Onyx, token of faith, ring of the solitary wanderer. Interesting. Things mm -hmm. to sell. Oh, yes, see that issue? It's the stuff. <laughs> Okay. Well, if that's everything here. I could have come here a long time ago. I guess I didn't really see this island before. I wonder if there's anything south of here. Looks like a little oasis ahead. Took what water we could out of there. It's not out in the water. Strange. Let's get back to the Defiant. This will be one of the quickest islands we've ever explored. Hey, while we're here, let's um yeah, okay, let's go on the ship, then we'll change. Let's make two changes. Uh dismiss dismiss. Okay. Just getting used to having Pelagina back with us. She's a good fighter. Right, this is Zorip Island. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> Make our way around it. Takes a while to sail across it. Okay, so, south of Nekitaka. And what was the name? Hmm. Have to look for it. That's it. Decilia. That sounds like a Valian name. Uh, so we can look for any ships that we come across. Maybe should be held up on an island. We have found a bounty that way before. Keep an eye. Oh, there's a ship up here. Huh. Unaffiliated trade ship. Merchant vessel. See if we can't parlay with them. Oh, we could buy food they're offering to sell us. Nice. Uh, we could use nine medical supplies. And. Ah. We'll just trade for that. Good enough. Nice snow. We can do that if we're ever hurting for supplies. Decilla. Is that not who we're after? Kill Decilla and take her ship's triumph. Okay. Looks like we have our target. How far away is this? It is definitely south of Nekitaka. Okay. Let's get them in naval combat. Test our crew. The crew of the Alasio spring into action, racing for their stations. Distant thunder of cannon fire echoes across the sea. They're firing with their forward guns. So. 
miss. Okay, well, the 276, so let's turn, turn to port. They're within range. They're coming at us fast. Fire the starboard cannons. Oh yeah, fire them. Two shots. We hit. Rake their hull. They come to a stop. I'm not sure why. <laughs> okay. Turn to starboard. They've stopped. Let's go. Give no quarter. Charge. The crew mutters nervously as I give the order to charge. The Defiant will be exposed to raking fire. Charge. The deadening crunch. The Defiant and the Elasio collide, sending shards of wood and enemy sailors flying. They stream onto the ship's deck, weapons at the ready. The stunned enemy's crew rally and meet my sailors with the resounding boom of gunfire and clang of steel on steel. Another bounty will be able to tick off my list so we can go into Nekataka. Your fear, it rings in my mind like a bell. <laughs> really. Alright. Aloth, do what you did before with that powerful magic of yours. Ah, I've taken a nasty hit. <laughs> Not exactly my area of expertise. I have a feeling that they're quite outmatched in combat. Still got it. I hope that wasn't one of ours. Bodies exploding all over the place. Enemy defeated. Yeah, some great experience for all of us, so... Look at all the loot. We're supposed to claim the bounty? Or... Uh, not... What's it called the bounty? This is a lot of stuff. Okay. Share the coins with the crew. They seem to really like that. Take all and continue. Go found it! And another ship that we've gotten. So we're gonna go after Hasango, try to find uh, Adair's woman. And then we'll look for that other pirate, that other bounty, bounty in the area.